Hello everyone! My name's Chris, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This game is a mysterious game. Uh, I actually was not going to even play this game, at least on my Let's Play channel, because I played it recently and it wasn't all that I remembered to be. I mean, it's still a good game, but whether or not it's Let's Play material is kind of questionable, and I don't even know how I'm going to do some things. Uh, but we shall find out. And look at this epic intro. That's so cool, isn't it? I love that. I love that so much. Um, yeah, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie video game. Um, yeah. So the game uses auto save feature. Yes, yes. I would like to create a save file. I guess that's where I was. Yeah. Why not? Oh. Yeah. Save the money first and be Mr. Krabs. So the reason why this is this game isn't really less playable. Well, actually, I'll get into that in a second. Let's watch his opening cutscene first. What, what's it? Finishes loading. How very awkward. Hee hee. Hoo hoo. Ha ha. <laughs> there we go. Welcome okay. to our little tale of woe, triumph against impossible odds, terror, and managerly responsibility. Our story begins in the calm waters above the town of Bikini Bottom. As we descend beneath the waves, we find another day. Wait a minute! Hold your seahorses! <gasps> I can't believe this is happening here! It's horrible! Oh no! Oh my god, who is this? Oh my, look at them yellow legs. They Holy poop. My manager's here. Talk to me, Krabs. Wait a minute. It started out as a simple A Krabby Patty with cheese. So what went wrong? When the customer took a bite. No cheese! Ah, no. Oh my god. Get a hold of yourself, Eugene. I'm going in. How oh, dare they? Oh, okay. So the first thing I'm actually kind of really worried about this game is the fact of potential copyright issues. Um, like they don't use any footage from the movie, but they use stills from the movie. So I don't know. I might edit it around. I might reverse it or mirror it just to decrease the chances of me getting copyright and you know having my channel completely destroyed. Um. Yeah, anyways, getting to some of the game mechanics here. It's much the same controls as uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. When you attack, you have freaking karate gloves on. Like, it, it's. You have a lot of the same moves. You don't have your bubble wand anymore. And you start off with not very much. Um, your health is dictated by the Krabby Patties on the top left. Top right, we'll get into a second. Top left are essentially the socks of this game. And the bottom right are essentially the golden spatulas of the game. These weights are um, the substitute for shiny objects. Uh, you see the red are worth one. The yellow I picked up before are worth two, I believe. Oh my god, holy crap, we almost missed that epic thing. <laughs> oh, is it three? Oh, it is two, okay, so these give you two. Uh, we'll get into more as we go into it. But yeah, so apparently SpongeBob's a manager now. Uh, don't know when that happens or why it happened, but you know, okay. <laughs> okay, so getting into why this game is kind of a bit sketchy to uh, let's play, Krusty Krab. Um, there's a lot of levels in this game that are uh, like racing levels, and you, and you get like ten uh, equivalent of spatulas in them. We'll go over what they actually are in a bit. Um, but you have to race through the same course like 10 times, you get 10 different uh, things. Hey! Wow, that was smart, Patrick. So mad! <laughs> Run! And they just like very nonchalantly swim towards him. He just runs for his life. Okay, so... Ow. Yeah, they're not as nice in Spongebob Squarepants or uh, the movie as compared to the game. Or, uh, they're not as nice in this game as they were in Battle for Bikini Bottom. Oops, probably should go ahead. So these give you five, I believe, right? 94, 96. Yeah, they give you green, 
Three and eight's give you five. Ha, <laughs> we're loading together. Teleport boxes are still in use. Well, yeah, not manager, gotcha. Um, the OCD in me we wants to get like every single weight in this game. That's not gonna really happen. Um, <laughs> so they still use the same switches over there. We'll get that in a sec. Here's that first little bonus thing. These, these are, yep, these are ten. You can actually see on the weight how much they're worth. Another crappy patty. And here are the equivalent of socks. You collect them, and you go get a new extra. So. Uh, to see what extra you just earned, go to extras in the options menu. So these are options menu. You can unfortunately see all the levels in the game like right off the bat, which I guess was true in Battle for Bikini Bottom as well, but I didn't like that. So you press X, go to options, you go to extras. And here are some things that I will be unable to show. The film trailer one. There's a lot of like footage from the movie put in this game. Not in the actual game itself, but like as extras. When you collect the treasure chests, that's what essentially the treasure chests do in this game. They give you extra things to look at, and wear, and well, we'll see what else they do later. But, the the trailers at least, I will be unable to show for what I think are obvious reasons. Um, my channel will get taken down so quickly for putting up any actual movie footage, so not gonna do that. If you're interested in seeing them, I'm sure it exists on YouTube. Um, but feel free to search it up. You see Manly Smash, I guess there are combos in this game as well. Like, crap, patty combos, the old things. What the heck, plankton boxes? The heck, they have Z's on them for some reason. Oh yeah, because he has a plan Z, doesn't he? I forgot about that. Yeah, destroy them, and they're just as fun to destroy as the Tiki's. Same checkpoint, but they do give a slight different animation. Hey, it's a helicopter. Yay! Um, as you see, there's a green meter that's slowly filling up in the top right as we collect these manly manly weights and we'll probably unlock the first or we'll probably get to the end of the meeting for meter in a second here the meeting there you go p means that you have earned your first upgrade point wherever you see the p open z look at upgrades so upgrades that's interesting this game has upgrades um these question marks uh mean that we don't have moves the, the, we have not unlocked the move yet so we can't upgrade since you know we don't have the move yet um, as you see, there's actually Patrick, which is kind of a dead giveaway when we're playing as Patrick. I'm gonna upgrade the karate spin. Yes. Oh my good lord! Uh, allows Macho Karate Spin to reflect enemies' projectiles back at them. Great, so that's actually not too great. It does. You do attack farther though, and more, or with more range. I'm swinging my arms out much farther, I become kind of a rubber man looking dude, you know? With these switches. Now, I already, I do like this attack better than the bubble wand. It, it gives you a lot more range when attacking. And it looks like they still retain the wall jump as they did in Battle for Bikini Bottom. Whoa. If you can already tell, since I didn't um, mention it specifically, uh, this game is made by the exact same creators as uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom. Objects in the world. Oh my god, it's Patrick! It's Naked Patrick! And, wow, he's not even censored. You could just, you could just see it all. Oh no! No! Rip it, peace, shiny object! I mean, wait. <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna probably make that mistake a lot. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, SpongeBob, of course, has all those crazy one-liners. Uh, as you click shiny objects and up or get upgrades available, um, you'll be able to see that, like, we recover 1500, or we require 1500 instead of, what is it, 250 before? So, we'll get there eventually. Eventually! I might as well kill all these jellyfish. I don't think they give you this many weights later on in the game, so we might as well make use of it while we can. That's better indeed. Alright, let's go on the trampoline. And get our first <gasps> Goofy Goober coin! Token. Goofy Goober token, not coin. <laughs> he. I'm the manager of this establishment. Everything is gonna be just fine. I'm really scared, man! You got a name? Me too. <laughs> Come on, Phil, stay with me. I've only got one shot at this. Gotta have the right tools for the job. Oh my god, use a pencil! Use a pencil! I want you to do me a favor, Phil. What? Say cheese. Ah, uh, the beginning. Aww, oh, it a was little all a dream. A wakes from his slumber and prepares for the biggest day of his life. 
Yet despite his you dreams, see those boxes in his closet? he is not honored with there the manager everywhere. position of the new Krusty Krab too. So he sulks off to drown his depression in ice cream at the local Goofy Goobels. Across the street, jealous of Mr. Krab's success, the diabolical plankton hatches Plan Z. He steals King <gasps> no Neptune's way. crown and frames Mr. Krabs for selling it to the far off and dangerous land of Shell City. Let us now join our heroes in the midst of their self-pity. Oh boy, I'm ready! Depression. Yeah. So, as you see, like, this is based on the movie, so it is very... The story is even worse than Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom, but, you know, Battle for Bikini Bottom wasn't... Like, the story wasn't too bad. It was actually pretty good, to be honest, hey, but this one, you know, hey buddy. they had to Come work on. with what they got. Wake up. Huh? Where am I? It's 8 in the morning. Closed. Go collect your friend and get out of here. Hey, buddy! Come on up here and join the party! What? Oh, oh my god. Oh god! SpongeBob! <laughs> Yep, so here's the first stage of playing as Patrick, and the music in this is amazing. Different from Spongebob, you can't attack mid-air like Spongebob can. That's really the, oops, the only difference that I think exists. Oh my god, we can destroy all the things! And yeah, the music in this place is pretty great. <laughs> here's our first real enemy of the game. If you, unless you want to count jellyfish as an enemy, but let's face it, they're, they're not a real enemy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I will say this game is actually significantly harder than um, <coughs> Battle for Beginning Bottom as well. Oh yeah, and actually what I did want to get into is the reasons why I'm Let's Play in this game. I did mention that I didn't really want to Let's Play this game initially. And that's because like, you know, there's a lot of questionable, um, playable, like, Let's Playable things in this game. The reason why I actually wanted to play this was specifically because of, like, um, the support my Battle for Beginning Bottom Let's Play get. I keep getting comments on there to this day. Even that Let's Play isn't that old, but it's older than my Pitfall Let's Play. Or, I mean, it's a lot younger than my let's, my Pitfall Let's Play. It's been getting a lot of comments. Boom! Yeah, I was expecting that that time. For the pot from the brick beneath me, I should clarify. <laughs> but yeah, my um, Battle for Beginning Bottom Let's Play got crazy amounts of feedback. All of it, or most of it, good. Not 100%. Of course, there's got to be some play haters in there somewhere, but I got a lot of great comments on there, and to this day, I'm getting a lot of comments, and it's really great. And I totally just did try to do the ground pound as Patrick, but I gotta remember this is not Battle for Beanie Bottom. So I'm more doing this for you guys than anything, and we'll really just see where this let's play goes. I might get really angry at some of the later levels because there are some extremely frustrating levels, some of them pretty early in the game actually. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Spongebob! Spongebob! What's up, Patrick? <laughs> you have got to try this new dot room game. Dot! Where? Whoa! <laughs> well, that other dude knows to him. Yep, so here's another enemy in the game. A lot of the enemies are based on the ones in um, Battle for Me Bottom. As you see, this guy was based off a hammer very clearly. You'll see a whole bunch of variations of uh, these guys later in the game. And also the ones that were puking bad breath at me and acid reflex and all. We'll see a lot of that in this game as well. Like, um, recolored versions of them and remodeled. Look at all these weights we're getting! I'm so strong! Ugh, I am a whole Chris! Ready to beat up little girls! Yeah! <laughs> oh man, I'm funny. <laughs> Alright. So here we go in the freaking candy line. What the heck? Hey, it's you two again. I missed you guys. They look scary. Oh, oh, he finally got hit. Okay, so if you didn't make the connection, those are the equivalent of duplicator trons in this game. Ah, <laughs> shooting out these evil drunk guys. I guess they're not really drunk, they're just kind of evil on David. But they show in peanut form, which is weird. Look at that! And peanuts! Well, I guess they are. Whoa. Well, the Up Chocolate Challenge is available? Is that what that said? I was too busy fighting crime! Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Do 
Oh yeah, there are switches over there. This is actually the first instance in this game where we can't do anything about that for now. Uh, there was a bit of that in Battlefield Green Bottom. There wasn't really too much though. Um, but actually coming up to this checkpoint here, I think this is a good place to end off. There's not really too many good spots to end off in this Let's Play since, you know, whenever you complete a level, it immediately puts you into the next one. <laughs> Magic, Patrick's so mad. Magic. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Special Squarepants, the movie video game. If you enjoyed, please leave a like if already. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I guys, I really got, I really hope you guys enjoyed this new Let's Play. Like I said, I'm doing it for you guys. I did get a lot of requests to play this game, so I'll follow what my subscribers ask me to do. Till next time, see you guys later. Bye bye!